What's going on guys, Tyler here, and I'm actually super excited about today's video because it's an idea I've been sitting on for a while that I really believe in, and that is that anxiety is a superpower. Uh, in fact, I think that just about any mental health issue you may be facing can also be a superpower because the brain has this incredible way to adapt. Uh, we all hear those stories where somebody might be lacking in one department, but they're an absolute genius in this other area because our brain is super plastic and it compensates uh, and finds a way to use that brain power in a positive way, no matter what kind of issues we may be dealing with. Uh, so there are a couple of different ways that I think anxiety can be a superpower. Uh, and I hope you guys agree with me and let's dive in and talk about those different ways. Uh, let's start with the obvious one. If you are more prone to anxiety, if you're typically feeling more anxious than other people, uh, you are gonna have a heightened sense of awareness or maybe even heightened instincts with regard to your fight or flight response. Uh, we talk about in other videos uh, why we feel anxious in the first place and a lot of this stems from those ancestral mechanisms that are built into us from evolution which are the, the things that kept us alive, that fight or flight fear response that tells us a situation may be dangerous. So in today's day and age, you might just feeling, be feeling more anxious than your friends, but in the past, that same instinct probably kept you alive, uh, and even today, it could be keeping you alive. So back in the day, that might've looked like one caveman going, oh, look at the puppy. And then you are over there like, that wolf looks mad. And that instinct kept you alive. Uh, even though we're not gonna be running with wolves quite as much these days, uh, there still are gonna be situations where that instinct, that anxiety kicks in and tells you that something's not quite right, uh, and it could be saving your life on numerous occasions, even if you're not aware of it. The other superpower that I think anxiety gives us is empathy and awareness. In the past video that I just put out a couple of days ago, I talked about somebody who reached out to me, somebody that was bullied or just having a hard time with anxiety. I think anxiety uh, in high school, and I guess I helped them out. I stood up for them a little bit and they reached out to me a decade later, super happy that I did so. And it was just a really, really nice exchange um, that I talk about in that last video. But, um, you know, I think that the reason I was able to recognize what this person was going through, uh, which was him feeling really anxious and isolated and sitting alone in the lunchroom, was because I was also dealing with anxiety myself. I was a little bit further along than him, so it was something that I wasn't overtly displaying. People didn't know that I was feeling anxious, uh, but because I had had these feelings before uh, and even was still dealing with them to a degree, I was able to recognize them in someone else, whereas other people might have totally just overlooked those things and thought that the person might have just been being weird. Uh, so I think that that can be a superpower, the ability to recognize, and not just recognize, but help. Uh, this doesn't even have to be hypothetical because I've actually helped a number of people uh, completely separate from this channel, this website, just people, regular people having a panic or anxiety attack. I've been able to, uh, using the coping mechanisms that I've learned myself uh, kind of help out in a little way, a way that's a little bit more helpful than people that usually will just be like, stay calm, don't panic, relax. We know that's not helpful advice, but telling somebody how to breathe, uh, you know, using a method like four, seven, eight breathing, or helping them with some type of meditative practice or visualization exercise that can really, really help them to calm down in the moment, uh, that's a superpower because you're gonna be able to do something that many people can't. Uh, remember, a lot of times it's the things that makes us that make us unique, uh, that make us special, that make us, uh, get, not to be corny, but really give us that superpower that I'm talking about. Um, now obviously this superpower isn't as cool as x-ray vision or super strength or invisibility or whatever, uh, but it's it's still something. It's gonna be really cool to somebody if you're able to help them. The third way that I really think that this can be helpful is uh, the ability to feel better adapted to stress overall. So if you're feeling anxiety on a regular basis, some type of generalized anxiety, uh, you might be feeling nervous or jittery about things that are seemingly benign, seemingly uh, silly to feel anxious about. Maybe you're feeling jitters because you have a presentation coming up or a first date or you know any other any other type of situation that is just causing you mild anxiety a test coming up something like that uh, however you know it's it's strange it's funny because for myself and everybody's going to be different here so some of you guys might disagree with me but 
In my own case, I would get anxious in silly situations, situations where I felt like claustrophobic or like I wouldn't be able to get out of the situation if I wanted to. So I would be afraid of embarrassing myself by having a panic attack in a public setting, which really never happened to me uh, for the most part. It's just, I would fear that happening and that would freak me off, freak me out and set, set me off. But, uh, but then when something really, that would scare the heck out of most people would happen, uh, I'd be totally fine. So I, I've actually had, and I'm not a medical professional, I've actually had to give somebody CPR. Um, I've had to jump in the pool to, to pull a, help pull a kid out of the water when everybody else kind of just froze. Uh, because when other people who aren't used to their fight or flight response kicking on every day, uh, when all of a sudden something scary is happening and most people aren't used to those feelings, they freeze up, they don't know what to do, they, they really don't know how to deal with that panic. For people with panic attacks or just anxiety on a daily basis, we're constantly exposed to those feelings. So when a situation happens where we need to take action, I feel we're in a better position to actually take action. At least that's been my experience. Anytime something serious has happened, I've watched other people freeze up and I've been okay because yeah, like we're all nervous, but I know that this is serious right now and I need to focus on the task at hand. Um, and I just feel like anxiety has better equipped me to do that. Maybe some of you guys feel the same way. Finally, the last way that I think anxiety can be a superpower uh, that I wanna mention in today's video is that you're eventually going to learn how to relax on command. I mean, sure, at first, uh, people with anxiety probably have the worst control of their of their thoughts out of anybody. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was that way for a number of years before I really got everything under control. but you are going to have to train and condition yourself to overcome those feelings, which ultimately is gonna grant you the ability, like that ninja-like ability, you know how they have, they have like, they used to talk about like how ninjas could like slow their heart rate or something like that. I don't know if that's real, it's probably not. But um, but like, like you will really be able to kind of do that. Like you'll know exactly how to breathe, to calm your heart rate down, and to uh, exactly what to think to get your thoughts you know, under control. I mean, that's as like learning how to do that is, I think, as cool as it comes. Uh, that's a superpower to me. But uh, if you don't know how to do that, this leads me to a good point. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Uh, if you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Uh, if you, this video was helpful to you, please like, comment, subscribe. I truly do think anxiety is a superpower. If I could pick any superpower, I probably wouldn't pick anxiety but this is the one I've got. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, I don't know. What, what superpower do you have? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, thank you guys for sticking to the end. I will catch you next time.